Hi everyone, welcome back to Hands-Free Studying for the MBE, brought to you by Brainscape. These upcoming criminal procedure questions cover the right to counsel and identification procedures. All right, let's get started. Question one, what are the three types of pretrial identification procedures? One, lineups, where a witness is asked to identify a suspect from multiple people. Two, you have something called show-ups, where a witness is presented with a single suspect. And then lastly, photo arrays. Question two, when does a suspect have a right to counsel for a lineup or show-up? A suspect has a right to counsel at any post-charge, in-person, lineup, or show-up. Question three, when does a suspect not have a right to counsel for an identification procedure? A suspect does not have a right to counsel at any pre-charge lineups or show-ups, as well as any non-live identification procedures. For example, examining photographic lineups, fingerprinting, or photo arrays. Question four. If the police act in good faith, but the defendant's lawyer is absent due to his own negligence, can the police proceed with a lineup? No, this will still be considered a Sixth Amendment violation. Question five. What is the remedy when a post-charge in-person lineup occurs without counsel present? The identification will be inadmissible at trial and the witness will be prohibited from making a subsequent in-court identification of the defendant unless the prosecution can prove that the witness has an independent source of identification. Question six. When do pre-trial identification procedures violate due process? Pre-trial identification procedures violate due process when the defendant can show that, in the light of the totality of the circumstances, the police intentionally made the identification unnecessarily suggestive and the identification produced an irreparable misidentification or is unreliable. Question seven, due process applies to which types of identification procedures? All types of identification procedures at all stages of the process. Question eight, what are examples of impermissibly suggestive lineups? Examples of impermissibly suggestive lineups includes lineups where the suspect is a man and all of the other individuals are women, or a lineup where the suspect is one race and all of the other individuals are another race, or a lineup where the suspect has a radically different appearance than the other individuals, or lineups where the witness knows all of the individuals except the suspect. Question nine, when is a suggestive lineup not impermissibly suggestive. A suggestive lineup is not impermissibly suggestive if the lineup is justified by exigent circumstances. Question 10. What is the remedy for a due process violation during the identification process? The defendant can seek to suppress the identification via a suppression hearing. If the defendant meets his burden, the evidence will then be suppressed and the witness will not be able to subsequently identify the defendant at trial. There is an exception to this, however. If the witness can identify the defendant based upon knowledge from a source that is independent of the impermissible identification, then they'll be allowed to identify the defendant at trial. And that's the end of your 10 flashcard study round. 
To reach full mastery, remember to study in Brainscape. Our mobile and web app uses the latest in spaced repetition techniques, allowing you to optimize your study time and track your progress down to the finest detail. But of course, when you're driving, cooking, exercising, or otherwise unable to navigate the app, be sure to keep listening to the rest of this hands-free studying playlist. No matter what subject you're learning and what method you're studying it, Brainscape helps you rise to your challenge. Thank you.